Hey, welcome sixth graders. We are now <laughs> going to talk about integers, which is part of the rational numbers that we discussed yesterday. So get out your composition book, get out uh, a pencil, a pen. We're going to take some notes, all right? So integers, remember what integers are, a little refresher. Integers are positive and negative whole numbers, whole numbers, okay? So an example of an integer would be one, two, three, four, right? But those are counting numbers as well. But another example would be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Those are integers. Okay, I'm struggling right now, I'm struggling. Okay. All right, so anyway, let's just move along. Um, zero is neither a positive nor negative integer, okay? So let's just write down the topic for today. Uh, let me press here, okay. So something else that I wrote down was positive integers are integers that are greater than zero. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. I think we got that. And negative integers are integers that are less than zero. So as you notice, as you go this way on the number line, the value is greater than going this way. As you go this way towards your left on that horizontal number line, the value gets smaller, smaller, smaller. Okay. So we could have a horizontal number line that shows integers. And when you write a horizontal number line, the positive integers are on the right, the negative integers are on the left. You can have a vertical number line to display integers. And when you have that, the positive integers are going up, uh, the negative integers are going down. So, interest, you don't need to write any of this down. We're just like doing a little summary here. Oh, all right, all right. So here's an example of a positive and negative integer. Think about this, at sea level, that's zero feet. That is zero feet. And so when you look at a map, uh, um, a, a geographical map or so, it'll show the elevation of certain areas. And it's all based at sea level. So if you go to like New Orleans, I believe actually in New Orleans, uh, the city is below sea level, okay? So that would be like a negative integer. Um, so this is an example. This is 200 feet above sea level and 200 feet below sea level. So here's what I'd like for you to do. Can you think of other examples? Let's try this again. Give me two additional real life examples that have negative integers, that have negative integers. Okay, I, I think you could do positives pretty easy, but negative integers. And we'll discuss that tomorrow or whenever I see you next. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do is just, we're just going to compare these integers. Remember, as you go to the right on the horizontal number line, the value gets larger and larger. As you go to the left on the horizontal number line, the value gets less and less. So here, I want you to write down these four problems, A, B, C, and D. Write down the problems. Don't just give me the alligator sign. And also remember, the alligator eats the bigger number, right? The alligator eats the bigger number. Right. So, hey, uh, write this down and then just tell me. Is negative 3 greater than negative 5? Or is negative 5 greater than negative 3? Or do they equal? Hopefully you don't say they equal, but anyway. So we're going to do these four problems we'll discuss tomorrow. And then the last thing, you know, if you need to go back, press pause and do these four problems. Remember, anytime you see the little stars, you, that's what you're doing. And then we're going to look at it and discuss the next day. And then the last thing, I just want you to put these integers in order from least to greatest. From least to greatest. Okay, that's it. That's the tutorial. That was four minutes long. Four minutes. Bye-bye now.